Welcome to Ask TACMAN, where we answer your questions about real-time PCR. A concern among some researchers in the qPCR community is ensuring that experimental design and data reporting practices meet the standards set out by the Mikey guidelines. Specifically, users often wonder whether or not Life Technologies pre-developed TACMAN assays comply with Mikey's set of recommendations. Well, I'm here today to tell you that they do and to explain how Life Technologies qPCR assays can help you to achieve the highest level of confidence in your data. MIKEY, which stands for Minimum Information for Publication of Quantitative Real-Time PCR Experiments, is a set of guidelines originally published in 2009, then slightly revised in 2011. The authors behind MIKEY propose guidelines for all aspects of qPCR experimental design and analysis, as well as standards for sharing this information with colleagues. So how do LifeTech's pre-developed qPCR assays help labs fulfill Mikey recommendations with respect to design and information sharing? I'm glad you asked. As explained in the Life Technologies TACMAN Assays Guarantee Program white paper, all of LifeTech's million plus qPCR assays are designed using an advanced bioinformatics pipeline that helps ensure maximum amplification efficiency, standardized running conditions that require no optimization, and, perhaps most importantly, target specificity. During the design process, high-quality RefSeq contact sequences are subjected to rigorous bioinformatics scrutiny using long-established design algorithms. This process produces gene-centric assays that won't amplify pseudogenes and homologs, while simultaneously avoiding known polymorphic sites and low-complexity sequences. What's more, Life Technologies performs regular remapping based on revisions to the NCBI databases, helping ensure that assays and their associated information remain current. When researchers search for a TACMAN assay on our website, they can peruse a host of helpful information, including the NCBI gene ID, the gene symbol, a list of RefSeq IDs that are interrogated by that assay, and RNA accession numbers. And while we don't share the specific oligo sequences, we do provide the contact sequence, the probe location, and, if appropriate, the exon-exon boundary that the assay crosses. Finally, users can consult a map showing how all assays for a given gene line up with all known transcripts. In short, Life Technologies provides the information necessary for choosing just the right assay to meet your experimental needs and to help meet the requirements set out by Mikey. And best of all, TACMAN assays have been offered for many years now, with well over 5,000 publications citing their use. If you'd like to learn more about searching for and selecting a TACMAN assay that will suit your needs, please have a look at the Ask TACMAN video on this very topic. Do you have a real-time PCR question? Just ask TACMAN. Ask us on Twitter using the hashtag AskTACMAN. Hit us up on Facebook or go visit lifetechnologies.com forward slash AskTacman.